Okay, so we are going to just jump right into it. I actually have my base done, which, you know, the primer, foundation, concealer, all that powder. I don't think I need to show you how to do that much because you guys should know what your skin prefers for the base. Um, this is just going to jump right into, like, contouring, blush, the shadow, the lipstick, and, well, brows I don't have done either because she has a very particular eyebrow. It's kind of like rounded a bit, but it's still not, it looks very natural. It doesn't look like very done up. So there's a particular way to do her eyebrows too. I'm going to try to see if I can redo it. If not, then just do your regular brow and just try to follow along. And this is actually how I did my makeup for the 30th anniversary one. So that very like glowy beach goddess look. And it's actually not very highlighted. She doesn't actually really wear that much highlighter. It's more of the bronzer and blush that just translates into that 80s Technicolor. So let's just get started. Okay, so take this contouring palette by wet and wild we're going to use that bronzer shade and we're just going to put that in the hollows of her cheeks the sides of her forehead the jawline a little bit into the crease of our eyelid and our nose reason why we're going to do this is because jamie gertz she has a very oval shaped head just like i do except my head is a lot more wide than hers whereas hers is more narrow so i want to bring in my features more just like how hers look All right, we're gonna take this blush palette by e.l.f. now, and this is the color scheme Dark. I'm taking this dark pinky rose glittery shade, and we're just gonna do that stereotypical 80s blush where it's just gonna go everywhere. Now be careful because this is a very pigmented blush. I actually had to go in with my translucent powder and kind of diffuse it a bit because although it was the 80s, Star's blush was not as intense as it may have, it could have gotten. <laughs> All right, we're gonna prime our lids using this color tattoo by Maybelline in Creamy Beige. And I really love this stuff. It actually really makes your la your eyeshadow last long. So we're just gonna take that with our finger and just pack it in there. And it's okay if it's messy. We're gonna go over it anyway. So I'm gonna take this NYX eyeshadow palette in Fire. I love these colors. Look at this total 80s colors coming up right there. All right, so we are gonna take that brick red color, that one is gonna go on our crease, and then this shimmery brown color, that's gonna go onto our mobile lid. And I'm gonna take a fluffy brush, and I'm gonna pack that brick red into my crease. And then I'm gonna take my Real Techniques Base Eyeshadow Brush, and I'm gonna take that shimmery brown and pack it in. And once those are on the lid, I'm gonna take that same fluffy brush that I used for the crease, and I'm just gonna marry the two colors together. Alright, eyeliner, that brown liner, that is going to go on our top lash line, that white liner, it's going to go into our water line. So we're just going to do a little rough line onto our eyelid, and then we're going to take a smudger brush and we're going to smudge that out to make it look very soft and delicate. And I actually go over it with my base eyeshadow brush again just to diffuse it a lot more. Because we do not want to see that line, it doesn't want to be too visible. All right, reason why we're taking that white into our waterline is because, I mean, have you seen Jamie Gertz's eyes? They're big, beautiful, and they just make you want to do anything. <laughs> All right, mascara, we got two types. Reason being, that Lash Paradise one, that is gonna prime our top lid, and then the Lash Sensational one by Maybelline, that is actually going to be our main one. That one spreads your lashes out and make them look really beautiful. As you can see. All right, eyebrows. So Jamie Gertz's eyebrows, they are very rounded in the film and they look very thick. 
So I'm gonna use my brow pencil just to get the shape of it and then I'm gonna use that fiber volumizer gel and I'm gonna put that and brush that on top of it just to make my eyebrows look very full and natural. I'm just gonna clean up a little bit of the mess I made because of course Russia would make a mess. Alright, lips! I'm going to take this lip pencil by NYX in Sienna and then the In Your Element lipstick and I believe it's called Metallic Copper. So Jamie Gertz, her lips are very pouty on the top whereas mine are very pouty on the bottom. So I actually have to reduce the poutiness on my bottom lip using concealer and I draw the lip line a little bit more higher. And we're just going to soften that line a bit using a lip brush. And then we're just gonna straight from the bullet put that lipstick on and just blend 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 all right time for the hair oh my gosh so my hair is naturally curly and thick but we're just gonna put some mousse in it to make it bigger a lot of mousse we're gonna start from the root and we're just gonna spread that through and do not forget the bottom of your hair because well, bottom of your head because that is what's going to help lift it up and make it look like that 80s big poofy hair. Now we're going to take some texturizing spray and we're going to spray that upwards and scrunch our hair at the same time just to get that beachy wave. Alright, now we're going to take that diffuser, put it on our hair dry and we're just going to diffuse our hair upward just to make sure that our hair when it dries it doesn't flatten out. So this is going to lock your curls into place. And then I actually take the diffuser off at one point and just give a blast to my hair just so it gets extra poofy. And look at that. You have your star look. Looks like you're ready to go explore Santa Carla with little laddie. And uh just make sure if you see a mysterious boy looking at you while you're dancing, be careful the guy that you're with doesn't get angry. <laughs> Alright you guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I'm not really good at doing makeup tutorials, but hey, this is something that I wanted to do. So, uh, hope you like it!